How important on the morning of a final are it or is or are the people that you surround yourself with? Well, it's crucial. I mean, you have to surround yourself with the same team that has been guiding you to be in that final and just be in the same environment, have the same vibe or trying to. Because um, you don't want them going, oh, it's final day, do you? No, I mean, but then, I mean, if you surrounded yourself with those kind of people, honestly, you're not really a professional. So um, the calm and the coolness of the people around you are very important. But Simona is surrounded by very experienced people, and they all know what it feels to be in those kind of matches. And I'm sure Darren Kay is right there with her to give um, to give Simona the confidence. Because I mean, to me, the key word is confidence. You have to step on the court thinking no one is going to beat you. There is no way you're going to lose that match. If you have one single doubt that someone can beat you, honestly, just walk, don't walk out onto that court because, you know, she's the number one in the world. She shouldn't win that match. And she really have to act that way. Just go out there and be a winner. And from your perspective, Marion, once this match starts, do all the, all the nerves go? Are you, I mean, is it, is it, can you, can it ever be just another game? No. Can you put everything else no. aside? It's impossible. But um, it's going to be which one is able to handle that moment the best. And, uh, and I think for Simona, all the experience she has in those moments are going to need to help her. Let's not forget that Sloan last year played over Madison in the final of the US Open, completely shocked by the pressure, couldn't play her best any at all, which would not be the case today. So for, for Sloan, it would be another challenge. It won't be that easy at the US Open final. So that's why I think I favored Simona, just because of all those experience. But those 15 minutes before the match is when you get warmed up, when you really put your mind, your soul, your heart, every, all your concentration towards those first minutes because the beginning of the match is going to be crucial. Where do you think the balance of power is today, Marion? Well, I think historically Sloan doesn't like to play against retrievers. Um, she has really a tendency to lose against them. She lost first round in the tournament just before Ron Garros against Putin Seva, who is someone who doesn't hit the ball, but just retrieves so well, play a little bit of drop shots. And she's a lot more comfortable when someone giving pace to her because she likes to cut and punch. So I think the matchup for Simona is great. She won the last four meeting. The last time Simona lost to Sloan was back in 2013. So I think she can sort of con on that to, to see the positive for Simona, but she has to win that final for sure. Memory of the tournament then. I'll start with you, Mary, and just going around because it's been a, been a long old fortnight, 15 consecutive days. If you could pick out one thing, what would that be? Simona Halep putting in the arm of uh, her coach after the match, Darren Cahill, because we often speak about the athletes which is on the court and of course the athletes with having the racket in their hands but we forget completely the person in the darkness in the shadow that go with you through those moments and up through the ups and the downs as well and Darren Cahill has known a lot of downs losing three finals yeah. and I was so happy for both of them to finally have that hug and having that hug.